Hey YouTube, it's me Morgan. So this is going to be my final review on this hair and this hair is from Lola's Hair and it's the natural curly hair and it's like a kinky curly texture. So I posted a video about a month ago about the hair uh, when I first got it installed. So this is my second time with kinky, cur no third time, with kinky curly hair. So I'm really loving the kinky curly look and I just wanted to tell you guys all about the hair. Because I have been wearing it and I've been getting a lot of questions on it and if I like it or whatnot. So first, I have been wearing this hair for about a month now and I did get the hair from Lola's Hair. And I have four bundles, but I think I put like three and a quarter in. So I have two 22s and a 20 in. And I really love this hair. Like I love big, kinky, curly hair, okay? So... The hair is really, really nice, but there are a few things that I um, had a problem with and I talked to Lola about, so she did help me out with that problem. So um, first, before I get into that, I did make this on a wig. I recommend you guys making it into a wig, especially if you get like curly or kinky curly hair, to put it on a wig because the curls are so like tight, they'll interlock and it will get matted if you sleep in it. Um, so I made it into a wig. I did the flip over method. So I have some of my hair left out in the front and I do use the perm rides to blend the hair and I have a video on how I blend hair, blend kinky curly hair already. So yeah, so that's how I blend my hair. I didn't dye the hair or anything. I just literally just sewed it onto the cap. That's it. Didn't dye it or anything like that. Um, I would say it blends very well with natural hair texture. My natural hair texture, I think, is like a 4A. Um, so this hair is like really tightly curled and it's coarse. And I love coarse hair because it just looks like, it, it just looks really, really natural. And it blends really well with my hair. It looks just like my hair. So I got a lot of compliments while I was wearing it. They're like, is that your hair? And everything. And what I love about kinky curly hair is that you can go out and party and sweat, do whatever, and your hair will sweat out, but you can't tell because it's like, it blends so well with your hair. But um, yeah, so the problems I had with the hair was that it was really, really dry. Um, since it is coarse, it will get drier faster or fa drier easier. So it did get really dry. So I asked Lola, I was like, what? do I do about that? So she gave me some products. Um, well, I bought them, but she told me the names of the products um, to try on the hair, which really worked. Um, I was supposed to get the uh, elastic. Okay, I got this as a shampoo. I mean the conditioner. So I just co-wash the hair. This is the Elastic QP, and I was supposed to get a different kind, but they didn't have it. I forgot what kind it is. I'll leave it below on the exact kind. But they didn't have it, so I got this conditioner, which I really like for this hair. It works really, really great. It's ultra hydration, so it works really, really well. So I co-wash with this hair. I never shampooed this hair. I think I shampooed it once because I went out and people were smoking and it's, my hair smelled like smoke. So just to get that smoke out of it, I shampooed it. But I usually co-wash it. So I use this. And then her secret was that you should use the leave-in conditioner by Dr. Miracles. And I never really use Dr. Miracles products. I don't know why, but I love this stuff. I put it on my hair and it smells really, really good. I put it on my kinky, my Lola's hair. And it smelled really good. And then I, um, what did I do? I was like, let me try it on my hair. So I put it on my natural hair after I washed it. Oh my God, I love this stuff so much. Like it has that tingling. Um, stuff in it whatever it makes it tingle and i just love the way it feels and this is the curl care so it's for curly hair and it helps hold the curl for 12 hours so i mean i don't know if it really helped hold a curl but it helped my hair be more moisturized and not as dry the hair is still a little dry but it's way better than what it was before um but I put this on my hair, and I'm gonna start using it on my hair also, but I love this stuff. Thanks, Lola, for telling me, because this stuff is amazing. I got both of these at my beauty supply store. I was looking for it in Walmart, but they didn't have it, and I was looking in Target, but I couldn't find it in there. So I got these at the beauty supply store, and I absolutely love this right here. 
And I also use the argan oil and shea butter, the um, organics oil, it's a weightless oil. So I do do that. And every morning I will spray the hair and put like a little leave-in or a little bit of oil in just because it does get dry easily. But yeah, so that's how I helped with the dryness of the hair. Um, but yeah, and after I wash it, it doesn't look like this. The patterns are more tight. What I do is I just like go and comb it out because I like it look really big and like natural looking. So I do not comb it out, but I like put my run my fingers through it. And that's how I get my hair like this. So I haven't washed this hair in like three days, I believe. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to wash it soon. But yeah, so another thing I had was shedding. Like I really don't comb the hair out when I'm like, you know, going about my day or when the hair is dry. I usually finger comb it out first when I wash it so when i have conditioner in the hair um or when i first no yeah when i have conditioner in the hair i will finger comb it um just to get the tangles out and then i'll take a really wide tooth comb and comb through it and get all of it out but i did get a lot of shedding it's i got more shedding than i usually get with hair so i recommend you sealing your west if you do get this just to help with shedding and I do get some tangles like in the back in the nape area so I advise you like every time you wear your wig or wear the hair to make sure you spray some water put some moisturizer on the back and just comb it through if you neglect it it will be tangled it'll turn into a matted mess so this hair to me is like I guess like when you're wearing it and you're out, it's very low maintenance, but as far as taking care of it, it's very high maintenance. You have to treat it like your own hair. Like you cannot neglect the hair because it's so coarse and it's so kinky and curly that it will just mat up and shrivel up and tangle up into a ball. So you have to make sure you put effort in and take care of the hair. So overall, I would recommend the hair. Just two things. Please make sure you put it on a wig, take it off at night. And please seal your west if you can. And also third thing, make sure you take care of it. But I really like the hair. I like the length this is. Um, to blend my hair, I do twist it in the front. So that's about it. I get tons of compliments on it. Everybody thinks it's my hair. And um, I attempted to make clip-ins with the leftover bundles. Um, the leftover bundle I had. So maybe if it works i don't know if i have enough hair to make clippings but i'm going to try to make it work i'll do a video on that but thank you so much lola for this beautiful hair because i love it and if you guys have any questions or comments please let me know and thanks for watching bye